Hey, today I'm going to show you how you can get your Cal grade from DaVinci Resolve over to Final Cut Pro. Okay, so the very first thing that you have to do is download the app that I linked in the description. Don't worry, it's totally free. You will just need it to do all of the steps in this video. Okay, so once you have installed it, the very first thing you have to do is go over here to the settings and set this to 3D LUT 64. This is just so that you get a more detailed LUT in the end. Now hit generate a hold and put it somewhere where you can find it easily, like for example the desktop. Let's open it up here, give it a couple of seconds and it will generate this neutral 512 file. Now you want to open up DaVinci Resolve, right click on the media pool and create a new timeline. Now uncheck use project settings, go over to the format section and set this to 512 by 512. The FPS doesn't really matter here, just hit create and now you have a timeline that matches the image that it has generated. So you want to go back to your desktop and just pull it into the timeline itself. You can go over to your color page, head over to your gallery and go to power grades and just slap your power grade right onto the image. Now, if you never use power grades or you just don't have one, here's how to create one. You need to head over to a project to some sort of a video that you already graded or you just have some adjustments on it and head over to the gallery, go to power grades and while you have this folder over here open, you wanna go down here, turn this off, right click on the image and grab still. This will create a new power grade for you. So let's go back to the project we had open and now you should see it here. You can just grab it and plop it on the image and it will apply all of the changes that you previously had on your previous video. One important thing here is out of all of your grades and everything that you've done to this image, please remove all of the effects that you have on there. That means vignettes, blooms, halation or anything like that. Anything that you can probably recreate in Final Cut Pro. And the only thing that I have left now are just some basic adjustments as well as a color space transform, which can stay. So once you have done this, you can head over to the edit page. Now make sure your playhead is above the image itself. Go up to file, go to export, and now current frame is still. Click on that and let's export it to the desktop. And now you want to call it the final name of your LUT. So let's say this is going to be our Sony LUT 1. Let's leave it like that. Make sure, by the way, this is a PNG and export it. So once we have done this, you can now close DaVinci Resolve and you can go back to your LUT generator. Just head over to Convert to Cube, click on that and select your Sony LUT1 or whatever you called it. Now, once you open that, it will take a couple of seconds and it will basically generate the LUT for you from this image. So as you can see, it's done. Now we hit OK. So now we can head over to Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, this is a raw image. So I can go down here into effects and type in custom LUT and just drag that on my clip. It will be over here in the effects. And now as a LUT, you can just do reveal in Finder. This will reveal all of your LUTs and you can head over to your desktop, grab your little Sony LUT that it has generated, go back and just plop it in here. And once Final Cut Pro updates, it will show up right here. So Sony LUT 1, I will just click that. And as you can see, it applied it. Once you've done this, you're pretty much ready to go. But as you can see, my image over here is a little bit oversaturated. This is because this is Apple Lock shot on an iPhone. And the only thing here that you have to do in order to get this LUT to work is set the input from Rec 709 to Rec 2020. And this will fix it up and apply the LUT correctly. Okay, so hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a subscribe down below. It really helps me a ton. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.